Pluto is a far-off and surreptitious, more unobtrusive planet that was once a piece of our close-by planetary gathering. Anyway, continuous, upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They propose that this cold world is on a possible impact course with Neptune. Yet, how should this as a matter of fact work, and what might be the consequences of such an epic event? Are we seeing a beguiling, vast quirk? Or, on the other hand, is there something else to this moving toward perpetual mishap? Join us as we look at the possible consequences of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a past planet that was limited to a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and study in the vast local area. As demonstrated by late estimates by leading experts, Pluto's circle is perilously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous crash between these two planets, which could represent a huge risk to Earth. Yet, how is such an event indeed even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is not normal for that of some other planet in our nearby planet group. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single circle. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Anyway, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's circle is marked by its especially curved shape, meandering widely from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's circle considerably more remarkable is its inclination, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The manner in which Pluto follows its way is considerably more tilted compared to other planets. This tendency and unconventionality add layers of intricacy to its orbital plan. Quite possibly, one of the most interesting pieces of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto, in fact, draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, testing what we could anticipate from their positions in the nearby planet group. This prompts the ordinary inquiry. Why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle began soon after its discovery. Initially, cosmologists tried to figure out its extraordinary way. Not at all like other planets, whose circles lie somewhat near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's circle stands out with its lofty tendency and curved shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's circle does cross Neptune's. The steadiness, in fact, of Pluto's circle in the midst of these complexities is proof of the intricacies of divine mechanics. The three-body issue in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a perplexing manner. The terms asynchronous libration, orbital precession, and the VS gay swaying are significant for this riddle. As indicated by astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is non concurrent libration. Regarding Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is urgent in keeping their orbits from merging. Orbital precession, on the other hand, alludes to the vertical development of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this implies that when it comes nearest to Neptune or some other giant planet, it is situated far above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of security from potential collisions. Another crucial aspect in this situation is the VSK wavering, named after three researchers, Zell and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VSK swaying helps us understand why its orbit near the Sun is so unusual. Notwithstanding Pluto's way appearing whimsical, this swaying helps keep it moving smoothly over significant stretches. The VSK swaying shows that, despite the fact that things in space seem turbulent and erratic, capable patterns and rules keep everything in place. These factors assist with keeping Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or stray off kilter. This three-body issue is significant to understanding how these orbits change because of the way space objects pull on each other. 
Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our nearby planet group, and even distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s uncovered that, notwithstanding these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is, in fact, unstable, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to massive differences over thousands of years. Anyway, these strange properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively monitoring the disturbance. Later, automated investigations have helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, impact Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has an exceptional relationship with Pluto, where for each two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in balancing Pluto's orbit. Saturn additionally contributes. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is strong enough to ensure that Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, even a long period of time. So, maybe Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are fundamental for maintaining order and stability in space. Without these components, the planetary system, as we probably know it, would be a significantly more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could crash into others or be shot out from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it possibly ramming into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of equilibrium through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continued observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often drives us to face the odd nature of celestial bodies and Pluto's orbit is an ideal representation of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly outlined in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using automated simulations has been enormously helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on one another. Winds up in the last part of the 1980s, these reenactments showed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Despite the fact that it has components like offbeat libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be erratic and unusual. If you start with only a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking totally changed after a couple of years. Yet, even with this turmoil, Pluto's orbit remains stable over really long time intervals, like billions of years. This really means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it, despite it seeming violent at first. Predicting celestial events, especially when they involve violent orbits like Pluto's, is a huge challenge. The inherent eccentricity of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide great resources for understanding and predicting the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive capabilities. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small mistake or distortion can lead to vastly different results, making accurate forecasts a daunting task. In addition, the violent nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've taken huge steps in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us of how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Figuring out the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of every planet can significantly influence the stability and direction of other bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complicated forces attempting to prevent such an event from happening, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a major advocate for cosmology, 
offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially the captivating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public interest in the neglected domains of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is based on the ever-growing knowledge of our solar system. He sees the renaming not as a diminishment, but rather as a significant adjustment in line with our expanding understanding of the many bodies orbiting our Sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as an indication of how much there is still to discover in space. The interest in these questions keeps the exploration of space so fascinating. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune lay out a different picture. His concerns about the future of Pluto's orbit suggest that we may still have more mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto collide with Neptune? Or is this just another moment of confusion in the ever-changing universe of space? Only time and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. We continue to contemplate these celestial phenomena, hoping to uncover more of the mysteries that lie beyond the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision. The potential for an accident between Pluto and Neptune raises intriguing questions about the dynamics of the solar system as it challenges conventional understanding of planetary stability. The idea that two celestial bodies with such vastly different characteristics could collide is both unsettling and fascinating, particularly considering the current relative stability of their orbits. Given that Pluto is located in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field, the implications of such a collision would be significant for our understanding of gravitational interactions and the development of the planetary system. To understand the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the structure and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains a variety of elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extreme conditions of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere primarily made of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a giant gas planet, is composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a dense, deep atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would dramatically affect their structure and behavior, possibly creating an event that would be visible across vast distances. What makes this hypothetical collision particularly interesting is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another key element. Jupiter's enormous mass, strong gravitational field, and gravitational pull provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from wandering too far into Neptune's territory. Furthermore, Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamics of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. Despite these stabilizing forces, Ongoing research has also shown that the relationship between Pluto and Neptune is not as simple as a direct collision course. The gravitational resonance between the two planets, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three, creates a sort of cosmic lock that prevents them from coming into direct contact. This resonance is a key reason why Pluto and Neptune's orbits, while crossing in the vast expanse of space, have never resulted in a collision. The orbital mechanics of these bodies are aligned so that the potential for conflict is minimized. To further understand the complexities of Pluto and Neptune's relationship, it is important to consider how the behavior of their orbits adjusts over long periods of time. Even though Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's, the two bodies never actually collide due to their gravitational resonance, which ensures they are safely locked in a stable configuration. This unique cosmic dance is the result of the two planets' orbital periods being in a 3 colon 2 resonance. For every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This synchronization ensures that, although their paths may cross in space, Pluto and Neptune are always far enough apart at any given moment in their orbits to prevent a collision. This resonance is a beautiful example of how the delicate balance of forces within the solar system works to maintain stability. 
Without this kind of orbital harmony, Pluto would be at risk of drifting into a more chaotic path, potentially colliding with Neptune in a way that could disrupt the equilibrium of the outer solar system. The gravitational interactions between planets, especially those as massive as Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, also act as protective forces, keeping Pluto in a relatively safe orbit despite its unusual characteristics. In addition to the gravitational forces at play, the overall structure of the solar system also plays a role in minimizing the likelihood of catastrophic events. The outer planets, with their massive gravitational fields, act as sentinels, constantly shaping and reshaping the orbits of bodies like Pluto. This constant interaction prevents the solar system from degenerating into chaos, with planets and smaller objects following predictable, though sometimes erratic, paths. Despite these stabilizing forces, there remains an element of unpredictability in the long-term evolution of the solar system. As we continue to study the behavior of distant bodies like Pluto, we are reminded of how much we still need to learn about the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our universe. While a collision between Pluto and Neptune remains highly unlikely due to their orbital resonance and the gravitational effects of other planets, it still serves as a reminder of the intricate and fascinating forces at play in our solar system. The possibility of such an event challenges our understanding and keeps us eager to explore the mysteries of space.